back to another unboxing video. In this video, we are, it's a little bit late. I'm so late with this. I, what happened was, is I left this at my parents' house and I had to go back to their house and get it before I could unbox it, of course. But in this video, we're gonna be unboxing the 2018 May Lutaku box! Ah! It is now getting later and I feel like the lighting is gonna be not as good. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. But if you are interested in getting this box, I will go and put all of the pricing details in the description below for you. Here we go. Once you cut the tape and you open up the box, this is what you're gonna see. For those of you who don't know, the Lutaku box is one of the, I have about two different anime boxes on my channel, so it's one of two anime boxes on my channel. I know I have some anime fans out there, so I have this box on here to please you guys. So this is what it's looking like. Let's go ahead and check it out. Um, one of the things that makes this box really awesome for me is that they always give us really, really high quality figures. And that's one of the main reasons why I love this box. It is on the pricier end compared to other subscription boxes, but you're getting figures like Ben Presto figures that are worth that amount of money. So it kind of makes it worth it. It just depends on if you click those or not. Um, the first one we got is this. It looks like maybe a little like blanket or something. It says, Came Aerobics Mutin Roshi. So here's the design. This is, I have no idea what this is from, but this is basically, I'm not gonna unfold this whole thing. The design is on, what is this? Okay, wait, I am, oh, it's a scarf. I thought, it's always a scarf, isn't it? I thought that this was like a little fleece blanket, but this is actually, um, a little scarf. It's a fleece scarf, so it's just a fleecy material and it has the same design on both ends and you can just use it to cover up your neck. Ugh, when I'm wearing black on black, it looks funky. And I feel like I'm very not centered with the camera. I'm sorry. Okay, how about there? All right, so the first time we have a scarf, I don't know what um, anime this is from, but we'll set that there. All right, here we go. The next item we have, whoa. So we have a Dragon Ball Z uh, Van Presto figure, and this is of Grandista, Resolution of Soldiers, Barduck. So this must be from Zag Dragon Ball Z. I never really fully understood this, but this must be somebody named Barduck, I feel like. How does that sound? Does that sound right? Oh, I didn't know Mac was down here, and I saw like this thing move, and it scared me. And I was like, what was that? But it was Mac. So here's the box. So I'm trying to avoid glare. Um, and as you guys know, Van Presto, again, makes really high quality, kind of expensive figures. This one's really heavy. And I'm not a, I'm not a fan of Dragon Ball Z, but they're, they're my favorite Van Presto figures to get only because I know so many of you guys are a fan of Dragon Ball Z, which means that these figures make for great giveaways. Like when I put them in my giveaways, which I know I always talk about that, you guys always ask me and I'm, they're just on pause. Just give me a minute. Once I can actually get all my stuff moved in, I'm like so excited. I, it's gonna be dope. So let's go ahead and I might not put this together, but let's see what it looks like. Cause this one's really heavy. Oh, this is like giant. Oh wow, this is huge. I did not, they're not usually this big. Oh my. So how Ben Presto does it is they usually give the figure in pieces. This one's pretty straightforward because it gives you the legs and then the head with the head and the body. Okay, what? With the body with the head on. Sometimes they give it to us like separated and then I believe this is probably the base to make him stand. Um, let's go ahead, we'll go ahead and open this one because this one looks pretty legit. You do have to be very careful with these figures because the hair is very spiky. You could definitely use it. If somebody was like attacking you, you could definitely use it to like save yourself. Okay. Well, that was pretty straightforward in the building aspect of it. So here's the figure. Now, it comes with the base. I'm gonna leave the base in there. Oh, this smells heavily of plastic. But I really like that if you could feel how heavy this figure is, it's real heavy. And they're very, very detailed. So if you look closely, you, you can see that, first of all, the paint jobs on these are usually really good. But the detail of actually everything that's on here, all the way to the muscle tone, everything about these figures, I just, I just really enjoy the details that they have 
on them. They're very well built figures. So if you're a huge collector, you know, I collect Funko Pops because I like the cartoony look of them, but these figures are more for the more serious collector and especially if you're a Dragon Ball fan. I feel like you like this, but. So this looks like, I guess his name is Barduck. It looks like, um, well, it looks like uh, Goku, but I don't know anything about Dragon Ball Z, so I can't say that with fact. Actually, I can definitely say it, that it's not with fact because it doesn't say Goku on here anywhere. So I feel like maybe Barduck is some kind of, I don't know. Um, I know nothing about it. I don't even know why I try to talk about it like I like it. So the next item that we have is another Van Presto figure. This one's really cool. I'm not gonna open this one, but this is um, Ultra Instinct Sun Goku. And all I know about this is that something happened to him and then his color, his hair color changed. I remember you guys telling me about this. But this one's cool because he's doing his, he's doing the classic like, the classic like pose that I feel like is pretty well connected with Dragon Ball Z. Although it could also be like Ryu from Street Fighter because he does that too when he shoots his, his fireball. But there you go. We have our Ultra Instinct Sun Goku, the Super Warrior Special. And again, this is a Ben Presto figure. So wow, we got two really nice figures. This one to me looks cooler, but this one's bigger and heavier and a little bit more intense, a little bit more intense. Oh, and then we also got a pin. Oh, this is cool. Um, I guess Lutaku's gonna start doing pins. This is an exclusive, it's out of 500. That's neat. This is father and son Kamehameha. Oh, Kamehameha, is that the same thing as this thing? I don't know, but we have a pin. So there's the pin, and this is made by, I think this is made by Lutaku. The artist is Luke Green Pins. So maybe that's a new thing that they're gonna start doing, because they don't usually do pins. That's, that's not a normal thing. Okay, let's go ahead and do some pricing and recap. This was for May 2018, and the theme was Master, Father, and Son. Dun, dun, dun. So, the first item we had was our Mutin Roshi Kama Aerobic Scarf. Master Roshi, also known as the Turtle Hermit, is a master of martial arts who trained Gohan. Oh, okay, so he's the guy. So this is all, it's all Dragon Ball Z stuff. I would have never known, you guys. Like, would have never known based off that. But it's a cool scarf. It's not the most, it's not like the nicest scarf we've ever received. Honestly, I would probably give this scarf maybe around six to seven dollars at most. I don't know if it's licensed. I don't think it is. Um, and it's just a very, like, basic fleece scarf. I'm gonna go ahead and give that, let's go ahead and do six fifty. I wish the packaging on that was a little bit better. Okay, next we have our Van Presto Grandista Resolution of Soldiers Bardock. So this is the biological father of leading Dragon Ball hero Kakarot, better known as Goku. Oh, okay, so this is Goku's father. Oh, so, I mean, I don't know if they have different, like, because he looks the same age as Goku, but I'm sure there's like, you know, this is like younger version. I don't know. Anyways, this is a really cool figure. I'm gonna go ahead and use my phone to look some of this stuff up because I don't buy Ben Presto items enough. Where is my phone? Oh no. Oh no, I always leave my phone. I wanna get a basic idea of what this is going for. Ow, I got a splinter on my finger and I probably should've, I tried to pull it out and I couldn't figure out how, so I just put a Band-Aid over it and it still hurts, which is unfortunate. So in theory, what I would have said before I even tried to look this up is that this this Van Presto figure, this is a lot bigger and heavier than a lot of the other ones that we've received in the past. So I would say that it's definitely the $30 price range, if not $35, maybe $40. I think $40 would be pushing it, but I could see myself giving this around $30 to $35 based off of the prices that I'm looking at online, it does look like about $35, $35.36 is roughly what these are going for. Some people are trying to sell it at 50, which I think is quite high. But no, 35 looks like that's, 35 looks like the price point, yeah. So I'm actually comfortable with 35 because like I said, this one's a lot bigger and heavier than some of the other ones that we've, we usually get. So I'm totally down for that and I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna do. 
but I would say 35 to me, I don't know, I think 40 is pushing it. This one's a little bit smaller. I actually really like this one. I think this one's really, really cool. This one's probably more around the 25 to $30 price point. Surprisingly enough, this one's actually seems to be going for fairly similar pricing, but I did find some that were a little bit more on the $30 price point, so we're gonna give this one $30, because it is a little bit smaller than this other guy right here. He's pretty big. So we're gonna give that one 30. And then our pin, which is, I lost the pin. Oh, I dropped the pin. So this pin's really cool, and it's out of 500, which just makes it even cooler. I'd probably give this pin $5. It's not licensed, but it's still a cool pin, and it's pretty big. So I'm gonna give it $5. So according to my pricing, this box is worth $76.50. This box costs $60, which means it got $16 and 50 cents extra value. So here's the thing, for a $60 box, we're looking for about $20 extra value. So technically, based off of my pricing, it fell a little bit short. Now they give us their own pricing. Let's see what they gave. So for the Bardock, they gave 40. The Goku, they gave 30. The scarf, they gave 15. And the pin, they gave 11. So the only thing I was off a little bit was this figure, which like I said, you can find them online for about $36 to $40. So you could potentially give them $40 if you wanted to, but I think $35 was fair. Um, and then I priced this one at the same. So it's really the other two items. This scarf, I don't know this this scarf being $15. I think that is a little bit of a reach. I gave it $6.50. You might be able to give it like $7, so 50 cents more, which would still make this um, box a little bit short. Now the pin, they, they priced at $11. Because it's not licensed, that's one of the reasons why I wouldn't say that it's worth $11. Um, you probably could give it maybe $6, so add an extra dollar. But in the end, you just it depends on how you price things out. Um, $16.50 extra value on our lowest price point is still pretty good. It's not exactly what we're looking for, but it's decent. It's close to 20, so it's not terrible. And like I said, we got two figures, and I actually think that that's one of the things that makes this box like really legit is that we got Van Presto figures, which I love. So I think that's neat. If I had to rate this box, I'd probably give this box a... I would say a four out of five nudes. I like the box enough because I like the figures that we got. I wish that the other two items that we got in the box were a little bit cooler, a little bit better. They had some pretty unique items in the past, and I think that there might have been some other things they could have done that would have changed it up a little bit or increased the value a little bit. And then, of course, the value was lacking a little bit, which is why I'm giving it a four out of five noobs. All right, guys, that is all I have for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, go ahead and check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there, and you should subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about this box. What are your thoughts? I know a lot of you guys like Dragon Ball Z, so I feel like there probably should be a lot of fans of this box out there, I think. I think this was a good one. I like the figures that we got. I'm really excited about the two figures that we got, but I guess... You would have, if you're an anime fan, you would have a better idea of like if this box was a, a good representation of whatever it is that they were trying to represent. But let me know what your thoughts are down below. And remember, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions aren't blocked or set to private, you will make it onto my thank you to subscribers page, which I don't know. It may or may not be coming up shortly. I'm not quite sure. I need to put those together again. Um, but be on the lookout for that. And before we go, we must do the video shout out. I'm never going to be able to wrap any of these things back around this. Okay. I'm just going to put it back, put it back in the bag. You really do have to be careful about these, the hair though. The hair is very pokey. This is something that I could leave in my, like in my, on my nightstand. So if somebody broke in, I could use it just like as, as a just in case if I needed it. Today's video shout out's going to go to Ashley Bridgman. Ashley Bridgman, you get the video shout out. Thank you so much for watching, commenting, and supporting my channel. I just posted a video like an hour ago and you commented, love collecting Funko Pops, awesome video nerding noob. So thank you so much for watching all of my videos or at least my Funko Pop videos. I appreciate all of your support and I wanna give you the video shout out. So, shout out to you Ashley Bridgman. Shout out to you. I think it's Bridgman. It looks like Bridgman. I'm pretty sure it is. All right, guys, I hope you have a fantastic day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.